Gail Cannon here from Fiction Atlas Press bringing you another indie connection. Today I'm going to be telling you about some indie books that you might like if you're a fan of Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. The first book I have for you is called Haunting and Humbug by Melanie Karsak. Humbug. This Christmas, Ebony Scrooge will learn the true meaning of the holiday season. It's Christmas Eve in Victorian London, and Ebony Scrooge is hard at work tinkering weapons of mass destruction and avoiding all things Christmas. Well, the spirit of her deceased partner, Jacqueline Marley, warns Ebony that she will be visited by three ghosts. Ebony writes the visitation off as a dream. But on this Christmas Eve, the spirits of Christmas past, present, and future must try to pull off a miracle, restoring Ebony's heart before it's too late. The second book I have for you is called Hidden Scrooge by T.D. Conan. The worst part of loans and magic deals is paying them back. Ebenezer Scrooge is the shrewdest banker in the Kingdom of Glade, infamous for the interest on his loans and the wealth he amasses because of it. What the Kingdom doesn't know is that Scrooge didn't earn his fortune on his own. He made a deal with a known witch for a spell that would make his business thrive. Right when the elderly banker is ready to retire in comfort after the upcoming winter holiday, the witch pays him a sudden visit. Her deal came with a price, that she would get a substantial cut of Scrooge's profits, enough to put his happy plans in jeopardy. Scrooge refuses to pay, so the witch casts a curse on him. Until he feels his end of their bargain, no one will see the man Ebenezer, because they can only see a woman in his place, and if he exposes his true identity— the magic becomes permanent. Scrooge must look to his past to save his lifetime of work and learn the true meaning of riches to earn his happily ever after. The third book I have for you is called Carol, Being a Ghost Story of Christmas by Darren Kenny. Marnie is dead to begin with. There is no doubt whatsoever about that. So who the hell sent Carol this text? Born Christmas Day 18 years ago, Carol Davis is known for anything but holiday spirit. Sharp-tongued and self-centered, she's made her way to the pinnacle of high school by walking over anyone who stands in her way, be they enemy, friend, or even family. Visited by the ghost of her best friend on the anniversary of her December drowning, Carol learns that a horrible fate awaits her, and only by facing the spirits of Christmas past, present, and yet to come can she avoid the coming darkness. With each spectral visitation, she's taken down a familiar yet fresh path of discovery, uncovering the innocent girl she used to be, accepting the bitter young woman she has become, and yearning for a future where she can dare to love again. As the clock strikes midnight on Christmas Eve, Carol has one last chance to turn her life around, but have the spirits come too late to change the course of destiny? And the last book I have for you is called Link by Link. An Anthology of Haunted Holidays. This is a collection uh, with a bunch of different authors. I wear the chain I forged in life, replied the ghost. I made it link by link. Charles Dickens, A Christmas Carol. Link by Link is a collection of nine stories of ghosts, spirits, and creatures unnamed, all come to teach lessons we won't soon forget. From sweet Christmas tales to terrifying holiday hauntings, these stories take a dive into the past in the hopes of creating a better, or at least different, future. Okay, that's all for me this week. I'll see you next week on the Indie Connection. Bye!